I would like to ask your permission to use this video for educational purpose and on the internet. Yes. Now, let me just come to the point. You got the biggest surgery anybody can get in the lumbar spine. You got L5 to S1 olive procedure yesterday, mm -hmm. just less than 24 hours actually, way less because we finish your surgery later afternoon. And uh, yeah, you know, the, the surgery took us about two and a half hours to do. And we lost about 130 cc of blood for this big surgery, which is nothing. And the surgery was just yesterday, but you had this problem for eight years. So yeah. why was this problem not taken care of for eight years? Well, they just um, said that I was too heavy to do it. Yeah, your BMI was really high. And you know, <laughs> that sometimes can be a problem because that makes the surgery much more risky, much longer and so on. But we have shown in our study that really doesn't impact our surgery much. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, again, your surgery, L1 to S1, 5 cage, 11, uh, 12 screws, mm -hmm. and two rods, all was oh. done in two and a half hours, under three hours, uh, comfortably under three hours, yeah. which is a magical number. Surgeries that are less than three hours more are much less risky. Okay. Now, I understand you walked yesterday, is that correct? Yes. Okay, and today, how, how was this uh, physical therapy today? Uh, it was okay. I, yeah. <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I, and I used to have um, uh, neuropathy in my feet quite mm -hmm. bad. Yeah. And uh, I don't feel it now. Well, you know, we call it radiculopathy. There are two things that I think are important. Um, first of all, you had that leg pain. Mm -hmm. That you're, You told me that that leg pain since the surgery is gone. Is that correct? Yeah. So where was that leg pain? Can you show me? Um, it was down the back, uh, mm -hmm. just a little bit lower than your hip. Yeah, you had, you had, yeah, you had, and as well going down the foot, right? Mm -hmm. uh, going down the foot. So you had what we call L4, L5, and S1 radiculopathy, and the surgery was yesterday, and since the surgery, that pain is gone. Is that correct? And, you know, sometimes we call radiculopathy is mixed or confused with neuropathy, and uh, because the actual correction of your surgery was too long and too risky, actually you got a different treatment. You got a spinal cord stimulation device yeah. for a scoliosis. How long did that device help you? Well, the, the trial worked well, mm -hmm. but then the second time... Overall, that device uh, wasn't really helping you anymore. No. And I removed that, actually. Yeah. I removed that device yesterday and spend as well some time of that uh, two and a half hour work to, just to remove that device. Now, um, how was walking today? How did the walking go? My uh, right leg, or left leg, is a lot weaker than my right leg. Mm -hmm. I have trouble getting standing up, but mm -hmm. then once I can get my legs underneath me, then mm -hmm. they feel strong. But you so, did walk. Yeah. Now this is you know unheard of for that many levels and mm -hmm. scoliosis that within 24 hours you are able to independently walk. That is a very good signing. Now, obviously, for us to do the surgery, we have to push those nerves to the side. Mm -hmm. As well, sometimes we have to put some so, holes in the muscles there, and that can have some effect, especially on the uh, on the nerve and the on the muscle that bring the leg of the iliopsoas mm -hmm. muscle. So, but overall, how bad is your pain right now? All right now it's probably a four or five. Okay, um, so tolerate, tolerable. Yeah. It's not super bad. Okay. I, um, I got that about two hours ago. The pain pills. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, obviously you will need after this kind of surgery some pill, pain pill. But overall, I'm very happy with the result so far. Are you happy yeah, so far I with the result? Excellent. Yeah. Very well. Well, thank you so much for the interview. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that.